Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's journey takes us from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Gadsden, Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. In today's episode, we go to the place where abandoned airline luggage ends up, we find Jesus at McDonald's, and we visit a waterfall where a girl jumped to her death for love. There's some really cool stuff in this episode, so let's jump right in. The little bit of Tennessee that I saw was awesome, but I really was excited to get to Alabama. It took me about an hour to get to where I was trying to go, which is the unclaimed baggage center in Scottsboro, Alabama. And I'm in this town and I didn't know it was kind of like this small. I didn't really look it up. And I'm just like, where am I gonna park to sleep tonight? Okay, I see it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Okay, real quick before I go up in here. Okay, so this is Unclaimed Baggage's 50th anniversary. We are the only store in America that buys and sells unclaimed baggage from airlines. With thousands of items arriving at our store every day, you never know what you'll find. Okay, they're open till six and right now it's three o'clock and they have a cafe in here called Cups, I think it's called. And they're known for their chicken salad sandwich. Now, I know I said I'm trying to be on this more plant-based, but all these things are like, just, I need to try these things. So I'm sorry, I'll say a prayer for the chicken that gave its life for my sandwich. And also, I believe they bake fresh baked cookies every day. So you know I'm getting that too. Okay, so the airlines conduct an extensive three month tracing process with a remaining 0.5% of unclaimed bags in an effort to re reunite them with their owners. Clothes are dry cleaned and laundered at our in-house facility. Fine jewelry is cleaned and appraised. Electronic equipment is tested and cleared of personal data. So they do all that they can to like get it all ready and good. So I can feel confident if I want to buy some clothes in here. I'm excited. I got to go in. Okay, whatever. I got to see what's in here. sad because I came all the way here wanting to try their famous chicken salad and they said their sandwich bar closed like an hour ago and so I just ended up with their cookie their chocolate chip cookie so I can either leave now go to the next place in Alabama or I can wait till tomorrow and just stay here tonight I'm not sure but I got a couple things let me show you in the car now that we've hit a thousand, we gotta have a new goal. Let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers. If you're not already part of the snack pack, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on it. I saw the cutest bathing suit of all bathing suits in the history of bathing suits. And I tried it on because they had a fitting room and let's just say that it wasn't my size. I couldn't even get it up past my thighs. The cool thing is that all their jackets were half off, so I could have got a jacket for like less than $10, like nice ones, but none of them fit right. I noticed that a lot of the clothes were smaller. So I wonder if small people forget their luggage or lose their luggage more often than bigger people. 
the majority of the sizes were like smalls and medium. So also this is for international baggage too, I think, or people that come over from other countries and maybe some of their clothing brands are smaller, but I just noticed that a lot of the stuff that I was looking for, large and extra large things, like it was marked that, but when you look at it, you could clearly tell that it wasn't. That's my observation. I did end up with two items. You're probably gonna laugh because these are not exciting. But to me it is, I got some new readers. <laughs> the ones that I have from Costco, my prescription glasses, they suck. If you get glasses from Costco and you get them to put like the glare coat over it, it makes it to where your glasses are always dirty. I can clean it like 15 times a day, always dirty. And these work great and these were $5. The other thing is with the glasses I already have, I have this dumb case that I've had forever. It's just like a cheap whatever. And whenever I open this, You'll hear it start to crackle and then after like 10 seconds it just unglues itself and it's just like gross it's cheap so i got a brand name which i never do i'm not that type of person i'm not a label chaser but i was like um i'm stylish i was like what are these dots for i was like is that an extra sale and he's like no it just is for our inventory i'm like oh this burberry case was only two dollars and nine cents and it's nice on the inside. It's so stylish. I feel very fancy. This is like one of the only brand name items that I own. Now, it is five something. The sun is going down. I'm not sure what to do because this is a small town and I don't know. But I'm like, do I really need to stay here and have their chicken salad tomorrow? Is it that serious? Decisions, decisions. made it over to Gadsden, Alabama, and I am gonna go to Nakalula Falls, I think it's called, but it's raining today, so today is gonna be a day of full recording and editing, and I'm just kind of at a breaking point, so I was like, I need to take a walk. Even though it's raining, it's just so pretty out here. Just woke up, it's 34 degrees. I stayed last night here at the Red, Wo Red Roof Inn. <gasps> Super beautiful lake view. I'd love to just sit here and enjoy this, but I really have to go to the bathroom. I'm going over to Nakalula Falls. It's a state park and just get some fresh air and get it going. They played Christian music the whole time I was there. It wasn't just like they had a couple Christian songs. It was like all Christian music. They had a table with a Bible on it. I don't think that would ever fly in California. I mean, this is definitely the South. I think it promotes positivity. I think it gives people hope. So I like it. This is awesome. And it's also very beautiful here. And everybody is very nice. So far, so good, Alabama. I am driving up to this national park. It's called the uh, Nakalula. What? I pulled up and it looked closed and there was no cars, nobody going in or out. So I went into the building it's like a gift shop where they sell tickets and come to find out that basically during this time period they only do like petting zoo mini golf and train ride on weekends which is fine because I wasn't trying to do that all I really want to do is just go see this big waterfall so I asked the lady in there and she said I have to just go down to this 
Next stoplight, turn left where it says campgrounds. So I guess this is it. Oh, no, it's not this one, it's the next one. Oop, sorry, dude. Okay, so she said that I don't even need to go into this parking area. I can actually see it if I drive back a little ways to the chapel, and I could actually see it from here. I didn't even didn't even realize, but it's right there. It's like literally right here. I didn't know that you didn't have to hike to it. I would have been come over here. I've been in Gadsden, Alabama for like three days already. <laughs> by her father and so to be like no I'm not marrying this dude she decided to just plunge to her death into this waters and now they have this waterfall because of her or something like that and so they had this bronze statue put here and it kind of represents the legend right here Up, buddy yeah They're like people are just sleeping on subscribing to travel snacks okay that was enough playing with those geese I'm glad they didn't attack me but that one was starting to get a little lippy or a little beaky so I was like all right time to go plus it's cold my nose is running now I'm headed out I'm either gonna go to Talladega or Birmingham I think Talladega comes first but eventually I need to get to Birmingham because my new mattress is there in an Amazon locker hmm which direction do I take well you'll just have to find out in the next video stay tuned <laughs> Snack time. Snack time.